Hi guys, uh, on today's video, we're looking at volatility 50 index on the daily chart. And then at the top of the structure, as you can see around this point, we have like multiple touches. We have this touch here, we have this touch here, and then we also have this touch around this point. So this is a value area that we can use for us to look for those uh, selling opportunities just because we have the market giving us that uh, multiple touches at the top and then we have this kind of an ascending channel just like this and then looking at the top of the structure we have this double top creation as you always know we were supposed to get like this first touch second touch here and then we have like the third touch to complete the overall move and then this is where we were going to look for those nice selling opportunities aiming for the overall 90 percent around this point so this is how uh, you formulate an entry and then as you can see around this area here we failed to create that, that touch but we got the double top creation as you can see and then we also have another area here whereby i should cater for this ascending channel within an ascending around this point so now the market is currently around this area here so now we can go to a four hour time frame and then see if we can get like something out of the four hour time frame and then you check for momentum also make sure that you're checking for momentum on the four hour chart so now we are on the four hour time frame and then as you can see around this point this is the same areas that we were talking about this is the double top area as you can see in line with this ascending channel and then if i put it nicely around this point you can see that we have some type of an expanding as our ascending channel and then we had this nice break of structure if you put in like your smc concepts we have this nice break of structure here creating this lower low around this point this is our lower high here and then we have these equal lows here and then we have this higher low around this point just because it didn't break this area here so this is our double top area whereby we can look for those selling opportunities and then i already gave out like the signal in my group as you can see at the top of the structure around this point and then if you draw out like your uh, your patterns you can see that this is an expanding and then it's in line with the double top as you can see let me just remove a few of these thingies here this one also so as you can see we have this expanding pattern and then it's in line with the double top formation around this point here but there is no need for us to uh, get like a clear touch of which is around this point just because others are lying around this area here so this is why we took like a cell and then on the one hour chart let's check the hour chart so on the hour chart as you can see we had like a tap of that area around here so i'll just refine everything so we refine to this area and then as you can see we are in line with the structure we haven't gotten like a clear tap but as you can see we are using this one two structure for us to get like those selling opportunities and then another thing that we have at the top of the structure just because we are making a case of evidence for us to take uh the entry so we have this ascending channel around this point here like this so if you are safe with like your capital when you are trading you can just wait for the market to break this point here and then you can wait for that push to the downside retest and then you look for the selling opportunities around this area here around here yourself and then your stop loss can be just above this point and then you are targeting this area here as your first target this one here as your first target for about six percent and then the overall target as we know it's around this area here for about 38 percent of which you can take like a few entries whereby you are targeting this area here and then if we reach this area you can try to look for a scale in let's say you get like a larger flag around this point just because this 90 percent here is in line with the red zone unless if we break structure just like this let's say we break structure and then you look for that first tight flag around this point around here and then you take a cell but if you get like structure forming up around this area here then you can look for that larger flag continuation to the downside let's say you have this type of pattern and expanding also and then you get a cell at the top of the structure and then your stop loss can be just above this point and then you're still targeting the overall target of which is here so you still have a 20 percent trade 
and then for the other one of which is this push to the downside and then the first tight flag which is here then let's see what we will get on this one tight flag just like this six to eight hours on the hour chart and then you look for your cell around this point top loss can be just above this array line here then you're targeting the lows for about six percent so these are the trades that you can take on vex 50 index and then i'll see you on another video